Welcome to the channel. You're not gonna miss this one. And hopefully I can get it finished today, but I've already been to town, picked up all the supplies I'm gonna need. We're gonna build Libby a, well, let's just say we're gonna make a more heated enclosure around her doghouse. I've got heat lamps, I've got the extension cord, I even got some sawhorse brackets, but I doubt I'm gonna have time to mess with that today. I've got four sheets of the insulated wallboard. I've got three sheets of half inch OSB, two by fours, the screws, all the goodies. And I gotta say, I sure appreciate, I've had PayPal donations uh, from several subscribers. Man, I sure appreciate that. I didn't ask anybody to uh, send me anything, but they did. And man, I, I couldn't be more appreciative than I mean, it, it, it paid for this and then some. Uh, yeah, the electric bill is going to be a doozy as well. But I am very, very happy. So we're going to get started on this. Hopefully, I can get through most of it today. Uh, the idea is in my head. I think it'll work. She is a very destructive girl. So I got to keep that in mind with her. But it's going to be very warm for her. So, now, for the 90th time, <laughs> I'm going to explain why she cannot come in the house, why she's not around any other dogs. Well, she just chased off Tilly, who's over there. She does not get along well with other dogs. In fact, she don't get along at all with other dogs, do you? Libby was on death row eight years ago. I, t I got her off of that, so she didn't have a future. Uh, the first day I got home with her, we put her in the yard with the other dogs, and immediately that went south. Immediately. So I built her this, and that's worked out well. She comes out every day. I put her on this cable. Otherwise, she would run off. I can't have her biting people. She does bite people. She, she's bitten me several times, haven't you? you, know, you don't go near her doghouse. You don't go near her food. And if you can remember those rules... Then, then I'm all right, but sometimes she goes off the wall, and you never know when that's going to happen. So this is the best I can do for her right now, but we're going to make it a little better. We're going to give her some heat as well. All right, man, I can't sit here and yap at you guys. You know that. Libby, get your hand out of my pocket, or your paw. You're pulling my britches down. <sighs> oh, Tilly. All right, let's go. All right, I got all my pieces for the walls cut. Um, one thing to consider, you buy an eight foot two by four, it ain't always gonna be eight foot. Uh, I know here locally, and I always take a tape measure with me. I didn't today, so I got lucky, but I know that sometimes they're short. So I was able to get two 48, pieces, uh, 48 inch pieces out of one two by four, uh, especially if you're buying sawmill lumber. You know, usually they give you plenty to play with, but not always. You know, it's the same concept that it's not actually a two by four, it's one and a half by three and a half. So when I cut these at 45, I'm, I subtracted three inches, uh, two of these together is three inches, because they're going on the insides, because I want my walls to be exactly four feet, which plywood is four by eight. So I kept the four foot in mind. So all I gotta do is make one cut for the walls and attach the plywood. So particle board OSB whatever you want to call it and it ain't cheap it's still 30 bucks a sheet so anyway we're gonna start assembling the uh, the walls and then they're gonna be a little heavy because this stuff's still wet but we'll get them in there all right baby I'm gonna come get your ball I'm gonna come get your ball ah you Let's get that ball. Come on. Let's go get it. Let's get that ball. Is that your ball? Get it? Get that ball. Yeah? What if I get it? What if I get it? Can I get that ball? You're silly as a goose. A drunken goose. She loves that ball. How come you don't tear your ball up? You tear everything else up. 
Nah, we'll both play ball one day. Squar. Squar. That's very important. Square. Otherwise, it won't be square. I mean, what else I got to tell you about it? And I'm using screws instead of nails is if I want to take them apart later I can <laughs> and still salvage the lumber go fish I got three inch screws instead of two and a half. But they'll work. Once I sink it, oh yeah, there's plenty in there. It's all you need. One down, two to go. And we start slapping on the OSB, put the foam in. I may be able to finish this today, but I ain't gonna guarantee it. There may be a part two, there won't be a part three. Because uh, I only got two days till that cold gets here. All right, let me get these other two built. All right, all three of these walls are built. So all I got to do now, pull out the uh, these are four by four, so I just pull these out, cut them in half, put, put one on each side, and I do have, uh, let's see, I should have exactly enough to do both sides, but I've got to make a roof too, but I do got a sheet of T111, uh, I think I got some more of this in the shed too, I don't know why I got three, I planning to go, I planned on getting four, but man, I get... Oh, the dog barking that's going on. It's the only reason I bought this truck is to have a sawhorse. Now, all OSB and plywood have these marks, and this is exactly four feet. These are just nailing marks to give you an idea where to nail if you're roofing or whatever. But look how fat it is. You're not going to use that to cut with. So. A lot of people already know it. I gotta go get some uh, safety glasses, guys. Actually, I'm just gonna put on these reading glasses for now. Then I'll go get some. Almost an Amazon. It's all getting in my heart. Corner in my heart. That's a good cut. I don't care who you are. That's a good cut. So, this should be four by four. Yes, sir. A little over. It don't matter. Yes, sir. Alright, boy, that's a crooked cut. Couldn't see it, man. It's alright. Set her on over my hill. And it's got a smooth side and a rough side. I'm gonna put the smooth side in. Where she's walking. Alright, let me cut the rest of it and we'll come back when we go to put it on. Alright, I got all the pieces cut. Got this laid up on the table. We're going to attach uh, OSB on one side, and we're going to flip it over. We're going to cut the uh, one-inch foam. I may go two inches thick in there. I got enough. Uh, I don't think that's necessary, but 
you know some of the old timers especially around here they'll look at you and they'll go when you tell them what you're doing they'll be and everything always you can find these kind of guys every every place in america has them you know they usually hang out wherever there's coffee cafes uh you know anywhere there's coffee in the morning you gotta catch them early in the morning because they're not out late they'll look at you and they'll go let me show you what they do okay i'm just Well, you don't need to do all that gone dang stuff. You just put them in a dog house. They'll be fine. You ain't got to have no heat. You ain't got to do any of that. Just put them in there. You don't need all that gone dang stuff. You know what I mean? Well, what do you think, Livy? You need all that gall dang stuff? No. Gall dang. G A L L D A N G. In case y'all don't know how to say it. Gall dang. All right, let's get busy. insulation start cutting on that stuff yeah. I hate that I have to use two and a half inch screws to put this on but I forgot to get the smaller ones for this oh well what's a man going to do all right so I need to flip this bird over it's going to be a little heavy I'm going to put the outsides on after I assemble it because I'm not going to carry a wall with two pieces on it it's pretty heavy already pretty simple I'm just gonna cut a uh, four foot piece of that lay it across here and you just take my knife and zip it through so it's getting a nice tight fit uh, with two sides it ain't gonna need no more than one this is the inside part it has the smooth side because she's gonna be going through a little tunnel or about that wide in some sections so I don't want it giving her a splinter and uh, it's gonna be cool though. We'll get it going. We should get this done today. By the end of this video, it should be done. I ain't promising nothing. Got the first piece marked out. Uh, a Sharpie works best. Uh, anybody that's been on my channel a while knows I can't find nothing. Can't find it. So an ink pen will work. So I've already got it marked out. Uh, let's take it off. Make the first cut. A hint. If it's a windy day, put rocks or something on this. It will blow 30 feet in the air. I have a video on that. And you take a bread knife. A serrated bread knife. Best thing to use. Subscribers told me that. And it does work. This one works well. That piece cut. Ah, this is gonna be tricky. And it's kind of this stuff's forgiving if you're a little out of the lines or whatever. It smushes. It smushes good. Just smush it. Smush it good. Tongue to the left or the right. Let's see, yeah, that's my left. Oh, look at that. 
now. This should fit perfect. Uh, I don't know if you put the foil side out for I don't think it matters but we're gonna put it in that way you know I think it, it's like a vapor barrier so we're gonna put it to the inside I'm not even gonna smash it down real far because I want a little air pocket in there I don't know that that matters but yeah that's it man that's it now we got to do two four five more pieces and then i'm going to start taking these get up here you guys are always looking down man take these in assemble them and uh put the inside pieces in i still got to cut those and i got one i need two more there it is right there so we do have enough then we got to build the lid all right There's what we got. I went ahead and pushed them down. That way I don't have to worry about them popping out when I'm moving them around. Uh, man, I think that's plenty. Because you got to figure you got a half inch of this, inch of this, then you're going to have another half inch uh, of the insulation or of the uh, other piece of plywood. So plenty, plenty. Plus her doghouse is insulated and it's going to have a heat lamp. So we don't want to, uh, you know, make it uh, desert. What are you, desert springs whatever the hell the name of the place is palm desert palm springs that's that's what i'm looking for right there so that's what we got so now i just gotta repeat it two more times i won't film that and then when i come back we will uh start assembling it and you're gonna get these little dingleberries so if you're you know freaking out on the environment and stuff Unless you got a vacuum set up or doing it indoors, there ain't much you can do about it. But it's windy here. That's going to all blow away the neighbor's house. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Eventually. See, stray dog. There he is. That one don't learn. Got to deal with this every 15 minutes. All right, a little something I didn't count on. I got this 4x4 four four post nailed and it's down believe me i don't want to pull it up so i'm gonna cut a notch so this this wall has to fit flush against this as close as i can get it to the back of this wall here so i'm gonna have to try to cut out a notch so i can slide my wall in here and it's not gonna fit perfect but if i put put it if i was to put the wall to that then i'd have this big gap and i'd build a third or fourth wall i'm not doing that all right Diddy, 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 diddy. All right, I got that post out of there. Now what we gotta do? Ooh, we gotta dig. We got to dig, man. Can you dig it? Gotta level this out. I don't really have the ideal tool for that. It ain't gonna be exact perfect. But I'm gonna attach this back wall to directly behind the doghouse. So there's no need to come back here. But I need to get it somewhat level. I think what I'm gonna wind up doing. Attach it to the wall. Oh, see, that's perfect. Attach it to the wall and I'll bring in some dirt. So right now I'm gonna get a rock and get it level and then we'll fill that in. 
uh, put some rocks under there to hold it up. I am not digging all that out. This is nothing but rock under here, solid rock. All right, so I need a rock. And I have to decide where I'm gonna put the door. Probably gonna be right there, or it may just be on over there where she can go on in. We'll see. But this is the, the wall I need to get. Okay, let me see. Once that's up, how much room I have where this wall will be. She needs a, a little alleyway to get in there. Okay, there's three foot. So, that's good. She's not a fat dog. She hasn't got fat in all the years I've had her. So she'll have just enough room to get in there to get her doghouse. We'll probably, I, I hate to put the door facing the north but we don't we don't get a lot of stuff from that way but she's got the other door facing the east so about right here oh uh, actually it has to go in that's not going to work my goodness should i flip the doghouse around that's the ideal way. I'm going to have to turn her doghouse so that the door is facing the front. Yup, that's how it's going to have to be. She ain't going to like change, but hey, man, that's what's got to happen, Libby Lou. You hear me? Do you feel me? Yeah. She don't like me being in her kennel, moving her dog houses. All right, I had to go change batteries. I don't know how long I'm going to last clip this thing film. Yeah, Libby, she doesn't know what to make of me locking myself in here. <laughs> so I'm going to do that clip over. All right, what I'm trying to do is get these level. Although they don't look level, it's, uh, I'm working with the lay of the land in here that slopes downhill and also slopes another way. So we've got this off a smidge, close as I can get it. But when I put this up, that'll weight it down. It should be perfect. All right, now I got to attach these together and check for, I got to get my screw in there. Yeah, I got to make sure I don't drop any of these in here. Oh, well. Okay. That's pretty daggum good. I'm going to go ahead and stick it. Wow, oh, you don't have, you don't have the drill going the right daggum way. Okay, and that'll kick in. That's off about the same. I can live with that. I mean, this is this is something that's temporary for the season, and then I'm gonna be pulling it down. I just want it nice and level. Uh, <laughs> her door. I gotta find a good place to put her door. It's gonna have to be in the front because there's I should have made these five foot, but I'm you know trying to save money going by four foot and it, it's enough. Um, I've got lumber to do that with. Alright, so now let's square this up. Oh Beautiful. Okay. I ain't overdoing it with the screws because like I said, it's just coming back down. As long as it's strong enough to with withstand the weather. This one up. And I need something to pry. Let's see. Maybe I'm not bothering none of your things. What it is is she's got a stash of treats here somewhere. There it goes. Nice and square. That's a nice, that's why I like to build four foot, everything even. 
because when you go to square things up it's a lot easier ah oh, beautiful right there stay there dude few screws in we're ready to move on to the outside i gotta put it in her uh, door once this roof's on here this thing gonna be strong And again, guys, I'm just building out of my mind. I don't write anything down. I'll make sure I don't have any tools in there. Now, that looks pretty nice and square. And she's got her doghouse in there. It's all insulated, top, bottom, sides. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And a smidge. That's good. Come here, tape measure. That's an easy fix once I get the front on. Actually, man, if I didn't make them four, I'd just make that extra long. But uh, I'll just put another piece on across the bottom. It is skirting. And uh, she's going to have a light up here that's going to be flush inside where she can't get to it. But it's going to set up here, and she will not be able to get to any of that. Okay, looks good and square. Let me put a few more screws in on the shed. And we're good. All right, actually, the piece that I took out from uh, in front of the shed, you can see the other part of it there, fits perfect there. And I actually leveled it out real nice. That'll keep critters and stuff from getting in there. And I got to do something on the other side there, but. I gotta tell you guys, if that don't look like something that's gonna be warm, ain't nothing gonna be warm. I'll get in there myself, lay out in my bikini. I don't wear, I'm not, I'm, well, I, I gotta edit that part out. My thong, okay? Now, I don't wear bikinis. My thong, I got one made out of dental floss. I know you ladies wanna see that. Yeah, you probably don't. But anyway. Oh, Mike, you're vulgar. All right, so I got to cut the four pieces, three pieces for the sides. Uh, and then we're going to build the top. I may not get to that today. I don't know. I got an hour. Shouldn't take me but more than 15 minutes to cut these pieces. And then we got to frame that out. And uh, if I don't get to that today, no big deal. I'm still going to cut her a door. Uh, all right, I got that side on. I got this side and that side to put on. They're cut. And uh, then we'll start on that. I got to feed the dogs, and then I'm going to probably be working till dark. Uh, where you guys at? There you go, doing that again. Looking down at the ground. Uh, I just wanted to say, and I know a lot of people subscribe to my channel that may have not have watched any of my other videos or they don't know the story on any of my dogs but i will say it really makes me angry when somebody says why why don't you bring the dog in the house you're cruel you got it on a chain well first of all that dog's not on a chain it's a cable and i don't know a lot of people that would go to the trouble to build the things for my dogs that i built okay and half these dogs, almost all but two of my dogs, came from the shelter that somebody else didn't have time for or that they had issues. And Libby is one of them that had issues, okay? She bites people. Uh, she, you just never know, you know, just like humans. Humans are born with different things. Some of us ain't right in the head. I know I'm not. But it doesn't mean they don't deserve to live, okay? I'm willing to put up with her. I have for eight years, okay? And yeah, this is a lot of work and money, but at the end, you know, at the end of my life, if I go to dog heaven, that's where I want to go because I don't want to go where the people are. I want to go where the animals are. Then I know that I did my very best to make their short lives, you know, as good as I could. 
I, I haven't had one die because, because on me because of I, I've neglected them. And I'm not about to start. So just getting that off my chest. So if you don't know, you know, people are quick to comment on things before they even know the story. And, and I will call you out on that. Or I'll just delete your comment or I'll just ignore it. And I, that's that's what I'm going to do. But, you know, I know who's... I know name if I have if I don't recognize the name I know a lot of my subscribers names the people that comment and if a new one comes in there and just comments something like that without knowing the full story you know all I'm saying is just go watch some of my back videos maybe you'll learn some of the things about my dogs and see that you know I'm doing the best I can with Libby there's not a lot of options with her uh, if Rooster wasn't in the house and she she's just these are hunting breeds okay they are not good house dogs yes beagles can be these walker hounds are not uh, they just aren't and but they're she's a sweet dog so that's that let me get this going the roof and uh, that's going to be removable it's all removable so anyway what i did originally i wanted this to be inside so it's a true four by four but i gave her a little more room put that on the outside man it ain't gonna matter it's all insulated i can tell you i put my head down in there and it's quiet so i got all three sides on now we just cut the roof it's going to be a little longer than four feet uh I got that T111 I'm gonna make it out of that now this is uh, covered so no need to put metal roof or any of that on there uh, I am gonna go I have these are all siliconed up but I'm gonna check them these are this you know it's used uh, metal roofing but I have been in here several times when it's raining it does not leak I think there was one spot I found I think I got it so What's gonna, what we're going to do next is I'm going to cut a door right here. So she's going to come in and shimmy on down right into there. And putting hay in is going to be a challenge, but I'm going to make this door at least wide enough I get my arm in there. And believe me, as insulated as this thing's going to be, she ain't going to need no hay. But she needs it for comfort and that. But uh, I could put the door here, but... I don't know, man. I may do that. Let me think on this. Because she's, you know, really the wind and stuff isn't going to matter much because she's going into another enclosure. All right, yeah, I think I'm probably just going to put it here off to the side a little bit. She's got plenty of room in the front. Maybe off to here. That way, if there was a north wind, she's not getting it right in her face. All right. And then that's easier for me to put hay and stuff in there. Or just, I can't put it in the center because of the stud. So I'll probably come off that stud and do about right there, just offset a little bit. Now let me get the saw and do that, mark it out. What do you think, Libby? What do you think? Yeah. Now I can put hay in it. It's going to be a long stretch. Eh, I'll use a little pitchfork thing or something yeah i don't want you trying to climb up there either all right i'm going to frame that out a little bit make it look a little cleaner uh, i just cut it with the sawzall i did put a two by four on that side okay, plenty big it's actually bigger than the one in her dog house but if i put anything there she's going to tear it up so the wind's usually coming from the other direction i'm just going to leave it like that she's going to have heat in there She's going to be more than fine. So, I mean, I, there has to be a hole. Otherwise, she can't get in there. So, all right, Lib. It's about supper time. What do you say? All right. And this just happened. Gosh, that's fun. Dropped the whole dang box of screws. I better go get the magnet.
All right, guys. The last couple of clips I did didn't come out. So I just wanted to thank everybody that uh, had sent me the PayPals to help make this possible. Uh, it helped me out a lot. Uh, Y'all didn't have to do that. I know this time of year, Christmas time, you know, you don't need to be sending me money, but I do appreciate it and the super thanks. Uh, my back got to hurting, so I had to stop. All that's left to do is frame out the top and put in the heater. <coughs> we will do that on part two, and part two will probably also be involving the getting the well house. <coughs> oh, excuse me, getting the well house done. I'm just going to insulate that some more and and take care of the chickens and getting Libby a spot or Tilly a spot. So, again, wish I had the last clip, but GoPros are wonder, wonderful for that. All right, guys. Thank you. Happy trails.